Hey guys, Tom here from Metal Loud, and I am back with another one year later review. This time we're going to be looking at Emery's 2015 album called You Were Never Alone. Now, this album came out and it started with a Kickstarter campaign, actually. They went on and said, hey, we need some money for this. We're going to be doing it on our own label. They actually left Solid State Records and formed a new record label called Bad Christian Records. So they were kind of trying to do this all on their own, which I really appreciated. Seldom also brought back Devin Shelton, one of the original members of Emery, and something I think was sorely missing in the previous album, 2011's We Do What We Want. And I immediately definitely uh, contributed to this Kickstarter campaign because Emery has been one of my favorite bands ever since I heard the song Walls off of somebody's MySpace profile. And I really wanted to see more from the band. And I was a little disappointed in We Do What We Want. It didn't quite stay with me the way I uh, think the other albums had. It was a little bit too aggressive. I was a little bit too heavy. And the transitions between the heavy uh, parts and the, the not-so-heavy parts, the more poppier parts that they had in that and the slower parts, were really jarring. And there wasn't a lot of harmonies in there. And that's something I feel like, again, was missing due to the absence of Devin Shelton on that album. Now this album comes off right from the start with uh, a song called Rock Pebbles Stone where you really kind of feel that harmony between the vocalist Toby Morrell as well as Devin Shelton, something again that was missing on the previous album. So right off the bat you definitely get an improvement. It's also not as hard hitting as the opening track of We Do What We Want and overall the uh, the sound of this album reminds me a lot more of my favorite album from them, In Shallow Seas We Swim, and that's something that I, I really kind of appreciate because I think that was kind of their peak. It was the best harmony, it was the best mix of their, uh, their raw talent and the heavy parts that they mixed in. A lot of the other albums previous to that kind of felt a little bit too jarring. Their first album definitely kind of had that uh, back and forth between the screams and the uh, soft vocals and clean vocals and at times it, it definitely worked. I really appreciate that and love that album but it also felt a little bit um, not not as smooth as it could have been. The next album really toned things down a lot more, I felt like, and felt more like a uh, rock album, a more straight-up post-hardcore um, minus the hardcore. And the album after that kind of was forgettable to me. It didn't do anything wrong in particular, but it just wasn't really a standout album from it. It had some great tracks on there, but... Uh, it didn't really do a lot to me, uh, for me, but then we do what we want, um, or I should say the next one after that, In Shallow Seas We Sail, was uh, to me the perfect Emory album, it was the perfect blend of everything, and then We Do What We Want, again, just was way too heavy, way too aggressive, and didn't really work. So one reason I'm talking about these past albums, especially because of We Do What We Want and In Shallow Seas We Sail, is because this album really kind of takes things from the one I liked in Shallow Seas We Sail and incorporates them into this uh, into the sound that they have. And it also kind of experiments a lot more, um, pushes Emory in directions that they really haven't gone in, in before. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they are on a independent label that they actually own themselves. So they're, they are doing what they want on this album versus input from a label saying, not that uh, I've heard any bad things about Sol State Records or anything like that, but there's definitely a different vibe from a independent label compared to a more established label. And what I mean by that is you get songs like Thrash on here, which is one of my favorite songs off of this album just because of how weird it is. It starts off very strong, very heavy, very aggressive, uh, almost feels like a mathcore song at times, uh, breaks into a more smoother, kind of poppier sound, and then at the end it just goes into this weird uh, lounge style uh, part, and it, it's it's just so different, not not expected at all, but it works so well, especially with Toby's voice on there. And it's something I really appreciate is that they're 
but they're kind of pushing things and doing things a little bit differently. Um, the other thing is that this album is back to being full of energy and the energy kind of flows versus, uh, like I said, we do what we want. The energy kind of came in these short bursts and then kind of faded away, uh, meaning that it was kind of a little bit um, jarring at times. And this album has songs like Pink Slip, which just continue that, that flow of energy all the way through it. And it's, it's I don't want to say upbeat, but it definitely keeps you going. And I really enjoy that song. Um, the song Taken for a Bath and The Beginning, which are two tracks that they kind of released as demos before this album actually dropped uh, to their Kickstarter uh, supporters. And they feel like classic Emery songs. They feel like if I was going to point and say, you know, what does Emery sound like? These are two songs that I would definitely point to. They have the mix of the screaming vocals and the smooth and the clean vocals. And again, the harmonies between Devin Shelton and Toby Morell on there. And just the guitar work and everything all together just works and flows on those songs so well. And that's kind of the consistent thing for this album. Now, as far as how does it stand up? over time after a year i would say i definitely still enjoy this album um i go back and forth if i go back if i'm in an emery mood this album and in shallow seas we sail are probably the two albums i listen to most uh, besides their first album which kind of has a nostalgic factor for me but these are the two albums i definitely think represent emery the best and as far as what they can do so i really think it has held up over time if you haven't heard this album yet there you definitely want to take a look at this if you are a fan of anything post hardcore if you are a fan of emery this is definitely something that you're going to want to pick up or listen to and you know it really does hold up which is great considering that I was a little bit worried with the last album, We Do What We Want. I know I keep going back to that, but it, it kind of worried me a little bit that they were starting to slip and that they, they were kind of starting to become a little bit boring and that we weren't going to hear anything spectacular from them again. But this has definitely restored my faith in the band. And after a year, I still am listening to this. It still plays in my car occasionally, and I still enjoy it.